So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. He just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just... Safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Troubled like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. But those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my... ...real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't 
pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! AJ! No! There are too many of them! Cart, if we push it, the noise will draw them away. been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it.
Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James! They still need his help, right? Yeah, we do.
not safe. Just a little further. Must have had electricity here once. Beatnik. What's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> oh, gross! It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. Look like there's been a horse here in a long time. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult men. I need you to try and walk with them. Then... People or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. I'll be fine, AJ. I'm doing this, okay? 
I... <sighs> okay, fine. I will, I promise. kiddo it's all right i'm fine see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace i i think you might be right about there being something more to them it was kind of nice in there I have... many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too, AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well... That's good, I guess. <sighs> That's an. But I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. You could have stopped it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. And if your friends are anything like you, 
I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Well, it's sad. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the deck of... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. How do you play with it? You draw pictures, like this. <laughs> cool.
done, Gloom. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hmm, what's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about... Through alive people's eyes, we got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. And usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. Brought it up. So I'm going to. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Shoot. No! What? Please don't be mad. Look like this. You're too strong and too brave. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go. James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit, and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monster they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm.
Why? Why would you pick me? I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does, you know the one, where it's like... When I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize... What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date... I thought we could... Damn it! Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short. Get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <sighs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh... What would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Hmm, I think I prefer a good sense of humor. All right, I see you. You got me this time. <sighs> if only I knew someone with one of those. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. To making it past tomorrow. <laughs> All right, fine. Maybe we live another day. To making it past tomorrow. <sighs> so, I'll see you over there? Wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! Think fast. <laughs> I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay.
Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. Then how? Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? It'll make sense when you hear it. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Any kind you want. But how? Well, that... I don't really know, but showing's better than telling. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. And that describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. I promise not to swear all over it. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? 
Yeah. I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you guess that? <laughs> it's the red hair. Dead giveaway. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh -uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Put on the classical stuff. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. 
did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. This is for you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. been in so many and they always fall apart but I really like this one it's different it almost feels like home that's a good thing What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue Oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this. But before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch, you survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. Kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. 
Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. <gasps> Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend. He's to... here. Good lord. Uh. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um... Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please! Come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. I'm not sure anyone's ever said that to me. 
Yeah, well, they don't scare easy. Not after what we've been through. Even if you are wearing a skin mask. They're brave. That's good. Courage isn't always easy. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in...